And today Jesus said, I have come down to cast the fire upon the earth. What is that fire that Jesus has in his heart that he wants to communicate to the world? It's so amazing to see that in the same gospel, Jesus on one hand announces that burning love that he wants to communicate to the whole human race and to save the world at the same time. And the paragraph after, he said, do you think that I came to give peace upon the earth? But of course, I hope that Jesus brings peace. But he said, no, I tell you, but division for henceforth in the one house, five will be divided, three against two and so on. So how is it possible to reconcile in the words of Christ the fact that he wants to save the world, he wants to bring his love among human beings so that we can live in unity, and at the same time he said, I come not to bring peace but division. It's always a challenging gospel, isn't it? So we understand that for those who accept the mystery of Christ, who accept to believe, who accept to place their hope in him, and who accept to receive his love of charity, which is a divine love, there will be peace, there will be communion. But for those, even in the same family, who do not accept Jesus Christ, who do not accept to live in charity, placing all their hope in him, there will be no peace, and there will be more trials and no hope at the moment of death. That's why we need to pray for those who do not accept the mystery of Christ. But let us rejoice that for us who accept Jesus, we can live in peace and in communion with one another. God bless you all.